Um, so, uh, what's up, you two? Uh, Poke Primer here. Uh, Prime ready to deliver you our, uh, week one matchup here in the TCL mid-tier league. Um, like I would have said in my draft analysis, uh, I signed up for this just because, you know, buddy of mine was looking for people, and I was like, oh, why not? Um, good old Tenacious from JLPC, buddy of mine. You know, cool guy, cool guy. I like him. He's, he's fun. Uh, but, uh, I joined because I was bored and I wanted to use some mid-tier Pokemon, and one of the things he mentioned was it's upload preferred. So I was like, you know what, I haven't uploaded in ages. I haven't done anything with my YouTube in ages, so I might as well just goof around with it. Why not? We'll see what happens. So, uh, you've seen the draft already, obviously. Uh, you have seen the draft. Uh, getting, turn this off for a second. Oh, no, wrong one. Let me turn this off for a brief second. Apologies. Changed the name. Duh, of one of my Pokemon, and I didn't think to update it before I started recording. This is never going to be any remote ounce of professionalism, and just a fair warning. Uh, I'm about as far from professional as it gets. I don't do this full time, I don't do this often. I just kind of do it whenever I'm bored. So, if you're looking for top quality content, run. They run away very fast. But, um, yeah, week one we're taking on the New York Dragoners, coached by Fishbrat. Uh, you can see his team down in the bottom right is a Sun team. There are a lot of weather teams in this in this league. Um, his is the Sun team, which is always which is terrible for our team. Um, but he has the Darmanitan, Tauros, Licky Licky, Hitmonchan, Camerupt, Golduck, Ninetales, Victory Bell, Zebstrika, and Octowl. So a pretty solid looking team. Um, very, very scary. Uh, Darm basically kind of just two a KOs almost everything in the universe against us, so that's not going to be fun to deal with. So hopefully, hopefully we can find our way around that issue. Um, if not, you know, we're just going to lose. And that's just that's just it. Uh, but it is what it is. We'll, we'll, we'll make do. So, got a team here, and we're going to be battling Fishbrat here in a few minutes. So I'm just going to quick go over the team real quick. Uh, first off, we have uh, the Goat Swampert, uh, fizz, fully fizz def with the Utility Umbrella. Uh, this is to make it so that we can actually switch into Darm in the Sun. Um, so that we can actually, like not take crazy damage. We can actually, like, chew up hits from him. I do believe he'd probably be scarfed, uh, just for the speed tier he needs for my team, I think. Uh, actually, probably not scarfed, honestly. Only needs to be scarfed for his Delph on, so... But yeah, we can, uh... We can chew hits from him to the best of our ability. And, uh... Pretty nice. Uh, Stealth Rock, Earthquake, Flip Turn, Rest. Uh, flip Turn just to keep ourselves some form of momentum as well. Uh, so, you know, we're in, a, we're in better shape. He doesn't have any water immunities, so we can get our, our Flip Turns off pretty effectively. Uh, Earthquake hits his team really, really hard. He has no... He has one ground immunity in Noctowl, and Noctowl's not really a threat. Uh, we have Stealth Rocks because I feel like they'll be very useful to... Uh, Uh, really chip his team down. You know, if he wants the Heat Rock on nine tails, that means it's taken 25. If he uh, is a choice item on Darm, that means he's taken 25. So, you know, anything to get through this team a little bit better uh, would be nice. Uh, but that's our Swampert. So we have Diet Dr. Kelp, with much more physically defensive variant, again, just to kind of deal with... Um, Kind of deal with, you know, the offensive threats he has, you know, once again. Uh, this works really good offensively against a lot of his team. Uh, Sludge Wave and Draco hit everything really hard. Uh, he doesn't really have anything that can switch him to both. Uh, toxic, and then I have Subtoxic with Black Sludge just to kind of put me in good situations to kind of whittle his team down. Uh, I'm EV'd to outpace an uninvested 
I actually don't know what those EVs are for. That would realistically be for like a base like 50 mon, but he doesn't have a base 50 mon on his team that I'm noticing. Well, no. No, Licky Licky. Yeah, this is Tower Pace Licky Licky. But, uh, yeah, uh, so I can sub toxic on things and just kind of click sledge wave and chip down his team. We have Hermione, the Delphox. I had to bring Scarf Delphox this week 110% because uh, of Darm. I had to make sure that I could always have something to revenge kill it. Uh, I have Fire Blast and Flamethrower because it fire coverage hits his team really, really hard, and the things that you know don't want to, things that can take it don't want to. And then I have Psy Shock because that hits uh, the resists a little bit harder. Uh, and then I have Trick. Trick is like a obviously after Darm is gone kind of situation, or if I can determine that Darm is not uh, scarfed, I can trick this away onto something like a Licky Licky coming in, or something like a like a camera up coming in and make him kind of useless, kind of nullify them a little bit more. Uh, that'll be that'll be cool. So we got we got that. We have cult leader the gum shoes with silk scarf adaptability. Um, sub and last resort. Uh, he has no normal resist on his team. Yeah, no normal resist at all, so if I can get this thing out and get behind a substitute... Uh, I just click last resort and something is either going to die or take like 70 to 80 percent, like minimum. He is, it's, it, this thing's gonna punch holes, hopefully, all through his team. That'd be great. Then we have Lukuka Racha, the Maractus, the Life Orb Chlorophyll. Uh, if, I, if my opponent's bringing the sun, I might as well utilize it to the best of my ability. Um, max special attack, enough speed. I believe this outspeeds Darmanitan. Uh, Choice Scarf Darmanitan as well. So I have Solar Beam and Weather Ball. Both do about 40-50% like to him. Um, which is nice. I have Spiky Shield as a means of you know, getting extra chip damage if I need to. Uh, any extra chip damage I can get on things is nice. Plus it can also allow me to stall sun turns as well if I need to. If I if I determine that that's a necessary route to take. Um, and then I have Synthesis because Sun is going to allow me to just heal up 75% of my health, so I'll take it <laughs> anytime I need. Plus, because I'm going to be taking Life Orb Chip. And then last but not least, we have Capone Beige, the Murkrow, uh, Focus Ash, Prankster, Roost, Rain Dance, Haze, and Thunder Wave. Uh, Haze is for, like, if Victory Bell starts doing its nonsense, if it, can, if it goes... Um, I can I can haze away its growths. I can thunder wave it to lock it down. Um, whatever works best, roost to keep myself healthy. And I have rain dance to kind of shut down uh, sun nonsense as well. So. Uh, you know, hopefully this will do the job. Hopefully this will get the job done for us. Uh, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and send the challenge now. I actually need to sign into my account. I haven't signed in on my computer for Showdown in God knows how long. Fish Brad. There he is. 
Let's send that challenge. It's got to be navtex ag. Yep, there it is. All right. Good luck. Have fun to fish brat. And uh, okay, we do see he does bring the knock towel, not surprised. He doesn't bring any sun. Okay, that's terrible for me. <laughs> that is genuinely worst case scenario is him not bringing sun. Wow. Um So yeah, Maractus is entirely useless. Um, hit him with the good luck, have fun. I'm still on my, yeah, I am still, see, this is why I don't do this for a living. Because I'm terrible. Although, hold up, the team builder one is actually like, my team builder setup is actually really good for this. So you can see the chat and stuff. I think I'm going to leave it. I think I might actually just leave it. Well, I can't see his name, but then, no, we'll, just, we'll switch it. Da, 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 da. Boom. Wow, that's what I used to do for my live comm battles? Wild. Okay, that should be fine. Alright. So, based upon what he brought... Um... Probably sub up with gumshoes on like knock towel or licky licky. Either one might work. Um, I think I'm gonna lead with Dragalgy. He leads with Tauros. Um, I don't have my calc set up. Me being bad. Me being really bad at this game. <laughs> See, I don't know why anyone ever subscribed to me. I'm literally the worst. <laughs> I am never prepared for anything. Ah, lord. All right, hold on. Let's let's get Macalix loaded up. I need to make sure I can. I need to see if I can actually live a hit from Toros. So I can live a hit from Toros and knock this thing out with a Draco early on. Oros, new attacker. I didn't clear my old sets, that's fine. I'll make do. Dragalgy. Body Slam does a lot. How much does like Zen Headbutt do? Zen Headbutt and Earthquake. Do either of those kill me, Jolly Sheer Force? Neither one kills me. Draco does 61 to 70, or not Sledge Wave, 83 to 98.9 percent. .9%. So I just Draco. He's gonna double edge. He normal gem double edged, and now he dies. Okay, that's fire. Actually, that's really cool. That's a that was a really cool set. All right, and he goes directly into this. I'm going directly into Swampert. Swampert is designed for this. He flare blitzes, that's 41%. Um, don't know if that tells me anything specific. I think that might be scarf damage. No, I think that's bandit damage, actually. Yeah, that that's definitely bandit damage. Yeah, that's 100% bandit darm. I'm going to click flip turn immediately so I can get out of here. Nice. Let me go out into Gumshoes real quick. I'm gonna sub in his face. He knocks. That does break the sub. That's fine. Because now I can use Last Resort and. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. 
Oh my god. All right. Um, that's absurd. All right, looky like he's gone. Um, that's cool. That's really cool. Uh, Gumshoe is a monster, dude. Jesus Christ. Um, I don't really have anything I want to switch into this. I'm gonna try last resort again. He drain punches it, it just kills me. It's fine. Um, let's go Hermione. Just click Psy Shock. Simple enough. He goes Darm. That's that's a dead Darm, dude. That's a dead Darm. He sacked Darm. Okay. Sweet, 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 sweet. Okay. We're getting we're getting progress here. Um. I'm going to go into Maractus here. It's going to Flame Charge. That's annoying. Uh, I'm going to Spiky Shield. Oh. He, he bounced on me. I, I don't know what that means. I'm going to try to double Spiky Shield. I did. I get it. Oh, nice. How oh, nice. His leftovers, okay. That's not terrifying in any way, shape, or form. So I know he's not damage boosted. <laughs> Solar Beam. He's gonna low kick and kill me, that's fine, I don't care. Um, okay, so I've seen, like, almost his whole moveset, aside from an electric move. So, I know he's not, like, super scary. Zeb, Strika... He's not life orb, he's leftovers. Like it was more or less a sack. It was it was more or less a sack. Uh 252. Attack. Jolly. He's got flame charge. Low kick. Bounce. I'm gonna assume wild charge. Okay, let's see just what kind of information we can get off of this. Is he just max attack? Flame charge, yeah, he did about 45% of the flame charges. Yeah, that's just max attack, straight up. Um, so he can't touch uh, Swampert. Low kick, like he can't touch Swampert at all. So, like, why do I not just go into Swampert and just... Uh, I want an Earthquake. So you can just go into the Noctile, but I don't think that matters. I'm just gonna, yeah, he's bouncing regardless. Like, he's gonna hit me with the bounce, but I can kill him with the Earthquake immediately afterwards. Yeah, goodbye. Nice. Sweet. He goes Noctile. I'm just gonna flip turn... All right, that breaks this up. Perfect. That is perfect case scenario. I'm going to go into Dragology and just start clicking Sludge Wave. I'm not stressed about him trying to sub. He's not going to get a sub in front of me. Um, he's left over, so he's not like he's going to... Um, yeah, he just would have let me down with the Air Slash. He's looking for the flinch. He does get it. Um, I should still live one more. Nope, he gets the roll. That's fine. Um, but now I just go into Hermione and click Psyshock. I am fast. I am killing him. And I Psyshock the Hitmonchan. He mock punches, and I kill the Hitmonchan, and we win 3-0 for our first week. Nice! Nice. G... Jeez, dude. GG's. Wow. <laughs> for a situation where, like, I was built for a hardcore Sun team, and he didn't bring Sun, I think this worked out incredibly well for me. Uh, just a good, solid game. Uh, 
But yeah, uh, GG's Fish Brat. Uh, we start off TCL mid-tier 1-0 with a plus 3 differential, so th that's a pretty good way to start the league. Uh, yeah, we're going to start here. So the next time, guys, I'm Pokey Primer, signing off. Peace.